Welcome back to Content Daily ENT, hosted by me, your boy JG. Hey, I just want to say good morning, and I wanted to talk to y'all about the Kyle Rittenhouse case. Like, what America, what are y'all doing, man? Like, y'all gonna really start protesting over this? The media twisted that story. Like, they even had Biden come on there and act like he was some... That like Kyle was some, that's where it started. Biden posted that he was part of a white supremacist or something. And they, all right, let's get that out. Let's get that out of the way. They went through that boy's phone and then nowhere found, nowhere was found any racial, any white supremacist, anything like that. And if you don't know the whole Kyle Rittenhouse story, then you would understand why half of America is upset about the protest because it's crazy, man. Like, that boy was 17 at the time. His dad, his grandma, his family lived in Kenosha. He was not just over in this city, this random city, just trying to fight people. Like, just going to, he wasn't trying to stir up trouble. He actually had a CPR license because he was a lifeguard and they even have interviews of him prior to the shootings where he said he was there to assist aid. He even told the cameraman if he needed help, he would assist him as well. He was like, I'm here to assist aid. I'm here to help people. And, you know, the riots, people talk about the, the reason that they somewhat, it was a white man shot, two white, three white people. So how the hell is it racist? The only reason they say it's something to do with racism is because the riots were from an unarmed black man got shot by the police, but that unarmed black man had a knife, was still in his baby mama's car or his girlfriend's car. She called the law on him. He had a warrant out for his arrest, which was sexual assault, an outstanding warrant at that had you know so many factors played into that had he just listened that wouldn't have happened he didn't want to go to jail he didn't want to listen literally tried to run from the cops and then cops are already scared so if you're trying to bend over into your vehicle when they've already told you to drop a knife because he dropped his knife he picked it up it's all on videotape the reason you don't hear much about jacob blake or whatever his name was is because they did an interview and then it looked like the media had it wrong because he wasn't no innocent man. Just like, it's crazy. And the reason Kyle Rittenhouse didn't get shot by the cops was because he turned himself in. He walked up with his arms up and he didn't fight. He didn't do any of that. Like this whole thing, this media has got turned. And you know why they doing all this? They, they, they distract in America from what's really important on the Ahmad Arbery, Arbery case, or however you say his name, which is in Brunswick. Ain't nobody even paying attention to that case. They're so worried about Kyle Rittenhouse and it being a racism thing, and it's not even nothing about that. That boy was there to help, and things went left. People, all right, who gonna run at a man with a gun, first of all? I'm not going to run at a child with a gun. I'm not going to run at a grandma with a gun. I ain't running at nobody with no gun. Why would you even do that? What made you think it was smart to go? Like, it wasn't smart. That's why they're laying in a casket now. Like, that's crazy, man. I'm probably going to get this thing flagged. I don't even know. I don't know what I can talk about on here because I've got flagged a couple times for some dumb junk. But I just had to get our event because this ain't, this ain't making no sense, man. America, y'all about to... Y'all gonna turn up for the wrong reasons, man. Focus on fo focus on Ahmad Aubrey. They got that man. If you ain't even watching that, that that trial was crazy. That white man trying to act like he was in self-defense. He's the one that chased him around, and and then got beat up. So then he shot him. That wasn't self-defense. Like, trust me. If it was had a racial factor in it on the on the Kyle Rittenhouse. I would not be for it. I don't believe there was any racism factors in there. He was there because, like, people rioting and looting, 
that has nothing that's not gonna fix the problem i understand taking a stand but there's ways to take a stand and going in a building burning stuff down stealing is not taking a stand like that ain't it like that's just gonna get that's just destroying people's property <laughs> like that's just an excuse to act wild don't get me wrong i mean i have like my kids are mixed so i'm not like i'm far from racist but i got common sense and i got logic but i just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about that because I see this thing getting way out of hand and it is crazy and y'all gotta see the shoes though yeah yeah i bought them last year me and my daughter but <laughs> but y'all have a good day keep this country in y'all's prayers love y'all keep god first